It's our great privilege, on behalf of the bride and groom, to welcome you here this evening to celebrate the love Julie and Jim have for one another. And each of you, with your hands and touch, are the ones that led us to this point tonight. When we needed a little guidance, you grabbed our hands and pointed the way. When we needed uh, a little support, you put your hands on our shoulder, you wrapped us in your arms, and you let us know you were there. When we got something right, you slapped us on the back, squeezed us on the arm, clapped, and cheered us on. For that, we are very, very grateful. I am most grateful, obviously, for this woman who gave me her hand and her touch uh, for the rest of her life. Jack. I can only imagine that it's not easy when you meet your dad's girlfriend and the woman that he had started dating and to wonder if this person could ever possibly measure up to the amazing person that your father is. All I can tell you is that you made it easy for me from day one. And for that, I am so greatly appreciative. My hope is that you will feel my presence in your life as yet one more person who adores you and supports you throughout your lives and who will always respect and protect the precious relationships that you have with your parents. You two are the richer part of my jackpot that I just couldn't have possibly known or realized when I first met your dad. But what makes this day so incredibly special for me to join your family. I love you both very much. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, Look with favor upon this world you have made, and especially upon this man and this woman, Jim and Julie, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Amen. By the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Georgia, as a judge of these United States, I pronounce you husband and wife. Mr. Pruitt, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> 